From the Stan Sheriff Center K-5, the home team presents Western Athletic Conference Women's Volleyball. The San Jose State Spartans look to battle the fourth-ranked Hawaii Rainbow Wahine. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jim Leahy along with Lisa Strand Ma'a. Welcome to our coverage of University of Hawaii Volleyball. Tonight, it should be a one-sided affair. After all, Hawaii has an overall record of 62-4 and four against uh, San Jose State. They've been able to win 38 in a row, dating back to 1993. The only thing here is they've taken a week off. Are they going to be sharp? Will it take them time to get back on their game? Now, when they look at or through the net at San Jose State, they're going to see three Wahinis from Hawaii, two from Kamehameha and one from Moanalua. So uh, this game, even though you look at, at, uh, at San Jose State, they just have had another difficult year. And Hawaii is flying high. They have a record of 14-1. and one. This should be a very quick match. What are the keys? Well, for tonight's key is sponsored by Kaiser Permanente, live well, be well, and thrive. First up we have for the San Jose Spartans, they need to perform and just compete. Their goal is really just to get better each time out, and already they've tripled their mark. Last year they only won one match all season long. This year, three. So they're, they're already very happy with their team's performance. And as far as the, as the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine, they need to focus on the fundamentals. This is where it can get very touchy. Just stay very sound and solid and do the little things that make them such a great team. So it will be Hawaii against San Jose State tonight. And then afterwards, they'll have the basketball extravaganza here at the Stan Sheriff Center. That will not be televised. You're going to have to come in person for that one. When we come back, we'll get the television side revved up and ready. This is San Jose State. Hannah Bloom is an outside hitter. Brianna Amayan, also an outside hitter. Amayan from Wanalua High School here in Honolulu. Katie Turner is a dis the uh, defensive specialist. The middle blocker is Kylie Miraldi. Another middle blocker is Alex Akana. She is from Kamehameha. Caitlin Andrade is the setter. She is from Kamehameha. And also Courtney Zelmer is the libero. Their coach is Oscar Crespo. Crespo uh, is 36 and 72. He is in his fourth season. And he's trying to make the best of a very difficult situation. For Hawaii, it's welcome back night after a week on the road and then a, a week off. But they really weren't off. They were practicing very, very hard. The outside hitters are Kanani Danielson and Chantil Satelli. The defensive specialist is Emily Maeda. The middle blocker is Brittany Hewitt. Emily Hartung, also a middle blocker. The setter is Danny Mufua. And the libero is Elizabeth Ka'ai Hui. They are coached by Dave Shoji. Shoji in his 36th year. 1,030 wins, only 177 losses. Series record is sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. Over 62 years of Kamaaina hospitality. Hawaii leads the series 62 to 4. They've won 38 in a row since 1993. The officials for tonight's game. Barbara Silvi is the WAC official. She has come here from WAC headquarters. I don't know what they're going to do with WAC headquarters after this season, but she's here. Ernie Ho will be on the floor tonight, as Sylvie will be the up official. Ryan Sakagawa is one linesman, and Greg Detweiler is the other. There you see uh, Mr. Sakagawa. And there you see... Well, you don't really see it. You see the back of his head. That's Detweiler. Greg Detweiler, the veteran linesman. This health report is sponsored by HMSA, working for a healthier Hawaii. All players healthy on both teams. Hawaii definitely is the overwhelming favorite. San Jose State 8-12 on the season. They are 3-4 in the WAC. 
And Hawaii on the season is 14 and 1. And they are 4 and 0 in the Western Athletic Conference, and they have not lost a set in conference play. So they're checking on the rotations now. There will be basketball played here tonight following this uh, volleyball match. They're going to have to take up the Terraflex, though. And that will take about 40 to 45 minutes before they can start bouncing basketball. And we're underway. Mafua, step out. Brittany Hewitt, Hewitt with the block. By Hui to Mafua. Danielson, that ball is dug up by Zelmer. Danielson, yes. Danielson in her practices tonight, look, she was very much alive. Very sharp in warm-ups, you're absolutely right. She was pounding balls in warm-up, and she makes it look so easy. The ball dug up by Zelmer, and then they can't get it over the net. That's a point for Hawaii, and Hawaii leads it now 2 to nothing. Brittany Hewitt leading her team with 15 service aces this season. Hewitt serving. That ball comes over by number seven, Kylie Moraldi. Moraldi from Grass Valley, California, 6-1 junior. Co-captain of the team with Courtney Zelmer. Serving is Bloom. Danielson took something off. It was blocked right back. Good save by Maeda. Danielson again. That's popped in the air by Miller. Rather, excuse me, Turner. And that ball goes out. And a very playable ball. Unfortunately, some miscommunication on the Spartan side of the net. They could have easily recovered that ball had they communicated. So it's 3-1. Hawaii. Here's Mafua serving. Gets it in, dug up by Bloom, Moraldi, and four hits called on the San Jose State. Kylie Moraldi trying to go for a quick three in the middle, but the ball never cleared the net. Mafua to serve 4-1 Hawaii. That is long. Watching that ball go out with Turner. And Danny Mafua actually enjoying that little break, just kind of recovering, getting her body back in, in shape, or in health, I should say. Turner to serve. The libero. Sky Hui, Mafua, step out, hard time. Point four, Hawaii. They lead it 5-2. Danielson will go back to serve for Hawaii. We are in the first set, just underway. Hawaii against San Jose State. That ball comes over. Turner. That ball is hit over. Good diving dig that time by Danielson. That ball is blocked back. Satelli. Satelli banging away from the right. Excellent set selection by Danny Mafua. Really mixing her sets up nicely so far early in this first game. Danielson serving again, six serving two. That ball is over by Amion. Danielson, kind of a misjudgment there as she got it across. And Amion hits it right into the arms of Waver. That set a little too low for Amion. The ball barely clearing the net. Danielson serving seven, serving two. Turner digs it up, and then a good hit there by Jafet. Jafet getting her first touch on the ball here in the first set. She's number two. Coming into the game is Asia Casino, 5'8 junior from San Jose, California. Transfer to San Jose from UC Davis. She serves. Elbow save wasn't good that time. I thought it was. That's a very interesting call. Hartung, uh, Hartung with a off-balance elbow save. 
Yeah, the, the questionable call there. You see Dave Soji a little bit frustrated getting up off the net, also wondering what the call was for. Casino serving it from her knees is Mafua. Getting the ball over is Weber into the net. Jay Fitt. Yep, Fitt hit it right there. She's from Grass Valley, California. Another point for Hawaii. They lead 8-4. Serving will be Kai Hui. Jayford again. Jayford, good angle that time. Right on the sideline, making contact. Here on the play, you see her going inside the hands of Brittany Hewitt. Very sharp angle for a kill. Danielson, Mafua, back set. Satelli blocked back there, Sky Hui. Mafua, ball pushed over by Hewitt. Hewitt got it down in front of Bloom. Hewitt doing a nice job bettering the ball there. The set a little low for her, and there she, she knew it immediately and took something off, tipping it to the open spot. Serving to Satelli. 